Coming up on this episode of Swing Nation, we've got a new competition in Harangue, a rare Frankie Manning clip, and our own Zucker Punch tearing it up at Lone Star. That's right, Swing Nation episode 16 starts now. Hit that job, close the door, get the carpet off the floor, Swing Nation. People grooving together. Truck on down, pimp your stroll, put some jelly on that road, Swing Nation. People grooving together. Hello out there in internet land. Welcome to another episode of Swing Nation. I am one of your hosts, Rick Romatic. I am joined by Zucker Punch and the lovely Spuds over there. So thank you so much for joining us. We have a action-packed show for uh, March? March? March. March. Episode 16. Very March, good. episode 16 of uh, 2013. <laughs> You're in charge of this. Year of our Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you bring in. <laughs> yes, uh, we are uh, coming in live and direct from Yehudi Studios in the Castro region of San Francisco. And we've got a lot of things to go through, so maybe we should jump right to it. Yeah. Shall we? Jump, jump, jump to it. Nobody remembers that song. It's Aretha Franklin. Was that a, was that a hit? Yeah. Because I never heard of it. So... Um, <laughs> Awkward. Yes. Uh, just so what's couple, up, Rick? I'm doing great. Yes. How are you? Quite well, thank you. Yes, we're going to find out how well you're doing actually later on in the show. Yeah. Like some little uh. special thingy. Um, looking forward to the calendar. One thing we wanted you guys to know about. So a couple of quick bits before we get into some of the more features. Uh, first of all, May 26th is, of course, a day you should always have marked off in your calendars. It is Frankie Manning's birthday. Um, to be more specific, it's Friday, Frankie Manning's 99th birthday. Wow. Cool. So there apparently is an effort to do some kind of global commemoration. Uh, probably your Lindy Hop scene is planning on doing some sort of uh, event, maybe uh, showing some clips or uh, uh, just having a special dance in his honor. The Frankie Manning Foundation wants people to kind of, I think, collect information about what they're doing and maybe use that as a fundraiser for the foundation. So stay tuned for more news soon from those cats for how you can help uh, celebrate that important day. Um, and I think they're actually, I don't think I'm giving too much away by saying that there may be Frankie 100 plans, bigger plans. Um, Shut being the talked front about. door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's Frankie 100. How are you not going to do something? That's true. You know, uh, we will be the first to break that news as soon as we can say something. But <laughs> I, I can, I think I can say with some confidence that there will be some kind of big commemoration. Um, happening. Actually, that there will be. I, well, yeah, I know what right? you mean. There will be. I think um, Elliot Donnelly has already announced it at Harangue last year. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, that's something going to happen. Um, but uh, yeah, cool. Let me scoot over. We'll let you know when we have more details. <laughs> save your ca- save that date that weekend. And uh, be ready to go somewhere in the planet when that happens. It probably won't be in outer space. Should so it should can, be in outer space? You could probably eliminate that. International Space Station, first time, Lindy Hop in space. Uh, Frankie, one hundred. Um, Lindy Hop in <laughs> space. Glad you guys are coming with me on that. <laughs> it'll be the best. It'll be the best aerial ever. Just it'll just never. She'll just never come down ever. <laughs> Sounds uh, like an awful aerial to me. Yeah. <laughs> We need to redefine Four great drugs. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, just one other little quick bit I wanted to mention that was super cool. Uh, did you know Linda and, and Chester Freeman in New York? Uh, I hope so. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I mean, they were not New York based dancers. They were, right. they were Hudson Valley right. based dancers a little bit north, I guess. Like Poughkeepsie. Yeah, around there. Uh, they've been teaching for a while. I've known, I've known about them for a bit. And there's a really cool profile in... The Chronograph, which I think is their kind of local arts magazine in the Hudson Valley, and it talks about how they started as uh, just swing enthusiasts and then built that into a business and how you do that in your um, small community as opposed to in a big city, um, kind of making your living doing swing. So uh, definitely worth checking out. I will post a link to it in the the show notes. Chronogram, apparently. Chronogram. Chronogram, sorry. Chronograph. 
Um, yeah, it's really cute. Good. It's really sweet. Yeah, it's a really it's a nice little nice little profile Aww. of two people who have taken their passion and made actually they like made a business out of it. You know, they put a little birdhouse in their soul. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but all right, <laughs> sounds sweet. Not to put too fine a point on yeah. it. Say I'm the only thing in your bonnet. So speaking of Harang, what's happening in Harang this year? Speaking of sequiturs. <laughs> no, did you mention Harang earlier about Frankie? Right? <laughs> you That's to, true. Yeah? Sure. Want to do this? Why not? Do it. All right. Go. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Harang is having a championship now. What? So, what? so Harang is having competitions, but they're really, they're like, they're like really putting them out in the forefront now. Um, yeah. If you were at the last Harang, you probably saw the competition that they had where they would take like five or six couples and they would put them out on the um, dance banana, the dance banan, and uh, they would all compete. And then the winners would get to compete. There was two couples. They got to compete on stage in the, in the meeting. And uh, I think there were certain prizes. I know Sarah Deckard won last year with um, I'm not Robert surprised. King- Kingvol. I can't pronounce his last name. Sure. Um, yeah, not surprising, right? Um, who, by the way, I'm teaching with Harang. It's week three, so go week three. You're teaching with with Klingvol? No, that's I mean awesome. that would be kind of cool, but no. But anyway, <laughs> listen. So they're having <laughs> Harang this year is having a big giant kind of uh, competition, and um, with nearly what three thousand dollars in cash prizes. Mm-hmm. That's nineteen thousand seek. Is that crowns or kroner? Kroner. Kroner. Yeah. Right. There's a difference. I can't remember. They. They they just they should use euros, but never mind. Um, <laughs> Let's not get into that. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> it's only getting an economic policy for no reason. <laughs> yeah, for me, you don't want that from me. Classic Strictly Lindy, Jack and Jill, Lindy, and Short Showcase, which I think is really interesting. Just for short people. Yes, just finally for smaller people. So somebody like like uh, Lazi from uh, and they oh, specify Lazi. <laughs> they specify that there's no gender requirements to the showcase, which I think is totally awesome. This is a cra- This is the craziest showcase I've ever seen. It's like you can enter as an individual, as a couple, or as a or team. The team. Yeah. There's no gender based requirements, and it's thirty seconds long. <laughs> I love the idea of the 30-second showcase. And 30 there's been, seconds. There's been a lot of those coming out lately. I know yeah. that there's one at, like, Hawkeye, I think, and there's one at Midwest. What's the idea behind such a quick thing? It gives an opportunity to, for people who aren't, like, invitational, who don't have the time, the experience, the, like, chutzpah to do a whole, like, three-minute piece. Sure. And, like, get themselves out there still. Cool. And you know the 9, 20, 30 second showcase, which brought right. out like yeah. 20 couples, which yep. is right. awesome. That's the only and one people, I knew about. I didn't know this was a thing that people were doing. It's so. great for people who haven't had a chance to choreograph much before or just like don't have that much time to practice with their partner, but they want to put something good out. Like 30 seconds is way better than three minutes of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Word. 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 30 seconds is way better than three minutes of <laughs> shit. shit. <laughs> A good thirty that seconds. Show right there. A good thirty <laughs> seconds is better than three minutes where you haven't en- enough time to invest properly yes. in it, and it's also better than not doing anything at all. And the best part is, if it sucks, it's thirty <laughs> seconds long. <laughs> we have. I always put a quote at the end of the credits. <laughs> That's going to yeah. be it this time. Uh, so check out the website, Harang Dance Camp. Yeah. Um, Dance Camp. Dance Camp. You mentioned the date. The August third. Right. So it's the end of Harang. So if you're planning on competing, go to the last week. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I am kind of bummed to not be able to make it to Harang. I would love yeah. to see this. Because mm-hmm. considering the like sheer mass of talent that goes to Harang, yeah. like this is gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to watch. I was actually I was talking to, to Mark Ihara about this. I think he's helping organize it or he's the organizer. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, one of the details about the competition is it's taking place in Halstivik. Not in Harang, and not in Stockholm. Oh, really? So I actually competed at this. There used to be a jazz jam, I think it was called, in Stockholm right after week five, and that was a competition also. Oh, okay, yeah, it was yeah, a strictly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Marie and I actually competed in that year, and uh, I think the thought was let's put it in a town where more people could show get up to see it. Yeah, but don't do it in Stockholm, which might be harder for right. people to go to. So I guess the compromise was Halstjevik, which is That's I guess, the next biggest town. Yeah, over. 
you can go shopping while you're there. And honestly, I think it's oh, yeah. brilliant to have the event in um, a place that's like a little maybe it, it's more accessible than it's more harangue. yeah, yeah. Um, especially <laughs> considering the fact that like after harangue the like getting to the airport after you've been out until nine o'clock in the morning is a little bit of a haul. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to have someplace that's just like a little easier to get to. Yeah. Uh, hurang so, again, yep. taking it to the next level. Always something different. It's great. Yeah. Uh, Frankie video. Yeah. Yeah. Never get sick of Frankie videos. Where'd this one come from? This came from our friend Gavin from the Century Ballroom, who uh, wanted us to um, showcase this little gem of Frankie. I guess who was speaking at their ballroom in two thousand and. Five. Yeah, this is Frankie at the Century Ballroom. Yeah. So, um, which is awesome. Give some insights into. It's just you know, Frankie being being awesome. I also I had some very embarrassing moments in, in my life too. Uh, but you, you all know the Nicholas brothers, right? You, yeah. You've seen them jump, and, you know, over each other, doing splits and ass breaks and all that. Well, there was a team that was called. Uh, uh, Berry Brothers, and they were just before the Nicholas Brothers. As a matter of fact, I think the Nicholas Brothers stole all this stuff from the Berry Brothers. And uh, I was working with them at the Cotton Club with the Cab Calloway and uh, Bill Book, Daniel Robinson, and, and Alpha Waters. And um, in the show, <coughs> Camp Band was like on, you know, on a bandstand here, and it had like a little platform just up in back of the uh, back of the band where the uh, showgirl they would walk, you know, they just walk on parade parading off their costumes, you know. They didn't do any dancing because the, the the platform was too narrow for that. But what the Berry Brothers used to do, they would come out on the stage and they would come up on this platform, jump over the band onto the floor into the splits, you know. And they used to get such a tremendous hand, man, you know. So I used to watch them and I said, wow, that's fantastic. So I was playing, why did you get out? I was playing uh, Apollo Theaters with Erskine Hawkins Band at one time. Anybody ever heard of the Apollo Theater? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I was working at the Apollo Theater with Erskine Hawkins Band and I got this great idea that I'm going to get the crowd all aroused before we even hit the stage, you know? So I said, well, when they introduce our act, I'm gonna run, because I didn't have a, you know, I didn't have a platform there, and I had to come like from the back of the stage, and it was just like this piano is there, and the piano is still like it is now, but it was kind of catacomb this way, facing out we walked the bed. So I said, well, if I run from backstage, bounce off that stool, over the piano, and over the band, well, I'm observing the crowd. I said, yeah! <laughs> so, man, I didn't tell anybody that I was going to do it. <laughs> well, we will... Uh... So, if you want to find out what f- happened <laughs> when Frankie mean. had this awesome plan, <laughs> go to the clip in the show notes. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a... I mean, if, I mean, you may have heard that. If you haven't heard this Frankie story before, it's one of his best stories. Yeah. Um, I think we... But I don't want to give away the punchline. Yeah, we're... Yeah, we're, Okay. All right. You're right. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry, guys. All right. Sorry, All right. viewing audience. <laughs> we were so into watching. <laughs> it would have been the whole show Spuds watching Spuds and I that. are like... I know. No, don't. Him <laughs> <laughs> He's going to finish his story. Well, Frankie definitely knew how to take a one-minute story and make it 20 minutes. I know. <laughs> but you were still riveted. still have us on the edge of the Yeah, exactly. Time. Right. You were riveted for 20 minutes. Yeah. Because you, you knew. It was like, yeah, of course you invented the air step. But tell it again. Exactly. We loved it. So thank you, Gavin, for sharing with us that rare clip. Oh, yeah. And uh, keep uh, compiling those gems and passing them on to us. We love to showcase them on the show. And, like, can we just mention that thing about the Century Ballroom again? Yeah, what's How? the status? What's the deal? Do you know? Uh, well, I think Rochester is currently about to do a fundraiser for them. Oh. So they're still... Chugging. Okay. Hmm. They still need thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands thousands of dollars. To make up for a really stupid tax really, code really that dumb wasn't law. applicable yeah. to them until suddenly Seattle decided that it was. So. 
Awesome. <sighs> Hang in there, Century Ballroom. We're behind you. Uh, we wanted to mention quickly, uh, speaking of, uh, I mean, I, to me, these folks are, are kind of in the uh, legendary status and they're in, in, from the era that they come from. So Kim and Dave, Dave Fructose and Kim Cleaver. Yep. Uh, there is this documentary, this short documentary done about, I don't know what it's about, but we got sent the YouTube clip of just the profile of Kim and Dave. And we wanted to just play a little bit of the intro to it. And uh, we'll post the full link to the, the clip in the show notes. So let's check out um, the beginning. Okay. I'm going to readjust my bum then. Okay. Because my bum is adjusted for over there. Hang on. Tell me a little bit in your own words, short statement, what swing dancing means to you. Swing dancing brings you together, brings you to a simple time where uh, the rules are defined. Uh, one person follows, one person leads, um, and there's only three things that matter, and it's the music, the dance floor, and your partner. The same thing that drew me to swing dancing, uh, Ventura, and it's kind of a, it's a little bit of a flashback of a town, just, just enough, but it's still... It's still modern enough to live in, but it, it, it definitely takes you back to a, a simpler time, just like the dance does. For many people who swing dance, the, the vintage lifestyle, the vintage clothing, it's, it's all part of the preservation of, of what they love. Uh, so they want to they wanna dress, they want to dress the dance, they want to dance the dance, they'll live the dance, uh, of their home, their car, everything. Some people will take it to that extreme, but it's all about that preservation. Uh, some dances are all about moving forward, always changing it. Uh, Lindy Hop is unique in the way, in the sense that uh, it's it's about preserving a time in history, and also you might be interested to know it's the only true American dance, only. Kim and Dave, I remember seeing the I remember seeing them the first time in a commercial for RC Cola or something like that. Oh, really? Yeah, back. <laughs> When they came, they came to teach at like Dance Manhattan back in '98 or something like that, and I took that class, and we were all like, "Oh my God, it's the people from the RC Cola commercial." But yeah, let's talk about what they said. <laughs> I love Kim. Yeah, I love Kim. She's got so much history. She's got so much of a background in this. Um, I don't know exactly where this documentary is from. I mean, it might have just been someone's pet project who. Uh, like a film student or yeah. someone who's working on a documentary. So if you know any details, if you made this, <laughs> I post in the comments. Get in touch with us. We would love to find out more if there's other people you want to profile, uh, other footage you would like to showcase because uh, that's some cool dance footage they got in there. So. Maybe, Go ahead. I feel like an ingrate, but as much as Lindy Hop is a historical dance and it comes from a specific time period and we honor those who did it the first time around and – we are really interested by the history. I feel like the way she paints it in this documentary is like a relic. No, and I, I don't I, feel like it is. I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to go there because that's kind of that's kind of what you hear. But she actually does say some people. She says some people feel that this is it. And there's a group of people who are like the loungers who like to dress up, and then there's a group of people who just like to dance, and then there's that middle group. And I think Kim and Dave are part of that middle group who like to do both things. And they don't, you know, deny anybody who, who doesn't want to do either. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're definitely, um, you know, moving it forward but keeping it preserved kind of thing. He did do a Matrix dip. He did do a <laughs> Matrix dip. That's true. Which I don't think was an original Whitey's Lindy Hopper's move. I think that move. destroys my argument for <laughs> <Just checking. laughs> I don't know. You know. But nonetheless, it's hard, to put, it's hard to put a lot of that stuff in like 30-second or three-minute documentary so if you know where this is from let us know yep um it'd be, I'd, I'd be interested to see more i don't know um cool yo we got some clips to get to kids no we don't that's huh? the show oh, no. Not what? No. No. no no <laughs> well can we can we can we show can we do something first can we show our girl right here she's right we, here can we show our girl right, right here? here there she is so i didn't know 
And because I'm a sleepy old man, and I don't think Rick knew, and I don't think Jim knew, but this one right here just kicked ass at Lindy Fest. She and Carl made first place in the what was it? It was the Strictly. All Star Strictly. All Star Strictly. What? What? I don't what? believe. I don't believe it. I need to see the footage. She's not turning red. She's a badass. Okay, so let's see. Uh, talk a second about it because it's amazing. Tell us what 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 was that all about? Uh, so Carl and I don't normally compete together. Well, one because he's like an order of magnitude better dancer than I am. Oh come on! on. Yeah. No, it's a true story, and it's, I'm <sighs> I'm fine with that. So go ahead. Um, <laughs> but this time he. Uh, he like called up the stairs two flights like a week before Lindy Fest was like, Hey, you want to do strictly? And I was like, Sure. <laughs> We're Seriously? going already. Oh wow. <laughs> and uh yeah, and I was like, Well, like, well, I better put on like my nice outfit for prelims because <laughs> I doubt we're gonna make finals. And then we made finals and I was like, Darn, I don't have now what am I gonna wear? <laughs> what do I wear? <laughs> um so yeah, and then finals came around, and I, I this is this is like I think the first video of myself dancing where I don't cringe the entire time. Well, let's take a look then. Let's see. Let, so we pulled this like at the last minute, but my girl right here probably kicked ass. Let's check it out. This is the second um, heat. Second heat. I love the white suit. Rocking the white. Oh. Yes! But really, come on. All the other dancers were such slouchers. So, you know, <laughs> clearly you're going to win. So that was the other thing was like, this is a group of the dance, a lot of the dancers that I admire and want to be like. Right. Like, Stacia Martin is like one of my favorite dancers Stacia's badass, in yeah. the world. And I think that she can like do no wrong where Lindy Hop is concerned. And so to be like in a competition with her. I was I was like shaking in my boots. Yeah, um, yeah you should be. Well, <laughs> yeah, seriously, yeah. like she, oh, she's yeah. just so good. Um, and I mean, everyone who was out there is like a real badass. And here I am, like I did the advanced but Jack you're and Jill. A real badass. Well, like I, I was in the advanced Jack and Jill. Like there's an all star, but I, I put myself in the advanced because I was like, I don't belong with those people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, she's not going to toot her own horn, so we just. Have to, do, do, I mean, do, do, do. and I gotta say one thing, people, because I this is my pet peeve. Two of my pet peeves are like, guys, shine your shoes, please. Seriously, don't come out in your busted up kicks, please. Get two pair, you can afford it. Um, and the other thing is, did you see how beautiful they looked? Holy crap, she's like, what am I gonna wear? That's I love that. It's just like such respect for the dance and for yourself and for the floor and for everyone there. And I'm sure the judges was like, you know. They, it's not about putting them higher because they wore something nice. It's about going, wow, this is what I'm seeing. You know, this is my spectacle. This is what I'm, boom, bang, pow. Good job, Nicole. Good job, Carl. Um, yeah. Thanks. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. Oh, but what? there was another couple that oh, yeah. already got, like, well, how many YouTube hits? It's ridiculous. It's not fair. It's just stupid. Um and I watched this on the like on like the Bart going home. I was like, I'll watch it later, I'll watch it later, I'll watch it later. Michael S- how do we say it? Seguin. 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 And Frida Seguin. Right? Kicking it. Did they win that? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So this was a different this was the invitational Jack and Jill. So obviously that's not Frida's regular partner. And I'm sure that uh Michael was very uh excited <laughs> about his uh his poll. And uh, but also, it's also I would f- kind of feel really intimidated because like she is so ridiculously awesome, and th- it's just beautiful how they execute it. So Let, let's let's do a little mystery science theater on this one. Let's uh, call the play by play. Take a look. <laughs> Once again, at Lone Star Invitation to Jack and Jill. So, <laughs> one thing that's really hilarious is that bef- before this started, we were like. Um, Sarah Breck was sick, and so we were like oh. two or three follows short, I and and Sigrun was like, "I volunteer to not be in this. Oh. I'll, go, I'll go sit down and drink." And he's like, 
Wow. He's the only one. Everyone else has like a bottle of water, and he's like got his thing of whiskey. <laughs> we don't condone drinking, but this is awesome. <laughs> Yeah. That was just ridiculous. You can see that Frida's just having a ball. Yeah. Woo! Right there. She's like, here we go. go. (laughs) Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. (laughs) (laughs) The spontaneous joke! He probably looked at his eyebrows. Eyebrow Lee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This it just gets better and better. <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, this was like such a magical thing to be in like sitting in the audience uh. for. It was just unreal. When they both do the, oh, and everybody <laughs> in the audience also Says, goes, oh, at the same time. Uh. It was amazing. And it's awesome that um, you don't normally see Sigwin out. I know. Like, in invitationals and stuff like that. And it's not because he's not, like, equally as badass as everyone else. Yeah. He just he just doesn't, like. He doesn't show both. No. Yeah. He's like, I'll sit down. I'm, okay, I'm going to go and sit. Yeah. Bobo! Nice work, guys. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Kind of makes me hate him just a little bit that he's just like, what? I don't give a shit. And then just like throws the fuck yeah. down. I'm sorry. <laughs> F uh, it's, hey, you Sometimes. know, only Jasmine's son's watching. <laughs> 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 so, uh, sorry, uh, Noah. So yeah, like he can not care and just like throw down like that. Right. Like it ain't no thing. Like it ain't no thing. Ain't no my thing. We got a couple minutes left. What do we want to do? I <laughs> can't believe it, but there has never been a Hitler version, a, a version, a Lindy Hop version of Hitler responds or Hitler re- Hitler um, uh, reacts. Uh, if you don't know the meme, there's a whole lots of different videos of uh, kind of remixing this one scene from a movie about Hitler. Uh, I forget what it's called. Downfall. 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 <laughs> Quoting from, from the peanut gallery. And uh, this one puts in so many Lindy Hop references, it's ridiculous. So um, let's check out at least some of it. Im Süden hat der Gegner Zossen genommen und stößt auf Stahnsdorf vor. Der Feind operiert jetzt am nördlichen Stadtrand zwischen Frohnau und Pankow. Und im Osten ist der Feind bis zur Linie lichtenberg marsdorf Karlshorst gelangt. Mit dem Angriff Steiners wird das alles in Ordnung kommen. <lacht> mein Führer. Steiner. Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff passieren. <lacht> This is so stupid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, that's the only accurate part of this whole so video. Dumb. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> all right. So, um, yeah. Eva, let movies. us marry. Oh, Adolf, where shall we honeymoon? Oh, and a div- ditch covered in petrol on fire. I've arranged it upstairs. Oh, how romantic. Yes, I thought. <laughs> oh, my God. So awesome. Some people have a lot of time. Yes. <laughs> um, and not saying it's not funny, but they have a lot of time. So uh, a shout-out to... Um, Do oh, we that's, time for... Oh, no, we had a that's good. Shout-out to... The fella who did this <laughs> can't show this and not thank him for creating this. For How about sake. I just run a lower third at the end, and then we'll say who did it. There you go. Uh, Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> yes, Ever Everest Ling. Oh, Everest Ling, awesome work, dude. So, 
Okay. Oh. All right. All so, right. We got to get wow. out, dude. We are. We are. Man. Yeah. Stick a fork in us. <laughs> oh, can I do the wrap up? Yes. You can, can try. I please try. <laughs> I want to try. <laughs> do All right. Do. No pressure. I need to stop it. <laughs> I'm looking the other way. Hey, thanks for show. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. That was not us. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Right. If you would like to get in touch with us, you can uh, email us at news at yehudi.com, or you can stop talking like this. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, Yehudi. Uh, Twitter is at Yehudi, at Spuds, at Zuckerpunch, and at Rickomatic. And if you would like to give us a call on the phones with the little man <laughs> running around with the purple shirt, what do you do? Who wants to give the phone number? Two zero one ninety four show two zero one ninety four seven four six nine. Operators are standing by. They're really not. And thank you once again to everybody. Thank you to Paul Marina for the intro, Casey McGill for the music, Jeremy Harris for the backdrop, and my cohorts here in the show with the pudding pops. That's Rickomatic. That's Sucker Punch. This is Spuds. And take it easy with the Woody and the Rudy and the Theo. Love you, Cafe Sophie. Thank you. Thanks for the tea. We out. With the pudding. Swing Nation